in the books, Quentin's kind of a douche, right? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. How much of a douche is he on? How much of that can you get away with on television? Um, you know, I think we're exploring a little bit of his unlikability and, and his selfishness, certainly, uh, especially in relation to Julia. Um, uh, I, I think it's something we're not shying away from, certainly. No, we're showing the good, yeah. bad, and the ugly. And so do you think that he's, like, seriously disappointed when he gets to break bills and realizes that it's just another school where they crush your spirit and stuff? I think he's, like, suffers from perpetual disappointment about everything. Um, nothing can quite be as terrific as he imagines that it can be. Uh, I think he's a, he's a romantic in that way. Um, but, yeah, disappointment is a certain, certainly a part of his life. So Julia kind of drops out of the books a lot. Like, she, we don't see her for long stretches of the time. Are, are they going to change that on TV? Or are we going to see you more of you? They are. They, they've cultivated kind of like for the first book where she's gone, they've added their own storyline. Like, the, the writers have come up with these ideas of what they think might have been happening uh, with, her, with what's been going on with the Hedgewitches and all of that stuff. So they've built, yeah, they've arced out this storyline. So we get to follow her trajectory while we're watching Quintins simultaneously. Are you excited to get like a million tattoos put on every morning? I mean, I've already kind of started. <laughs> before I got the, you know, it's, you know, there's a lot happening here. But yeah, but it's I'm gonna in. Be like, it's going to be hours in makeup, right? Like eventually. It's it, it, eventually probably, yeah. Yes, yeah. of course. But now it's it doesn't take too long now. Well, it's more Not and more every day as, as yeah. you get more and more talented. And, and maybe I'll just yeah. keep on. Oh, I love you. <laughs> you know? I'm going to just get tatted up for real. I'm just going to come in with a sleeve one day. Yeah. It's like the only job you can do that on. Kind of. So Julia has some pretty horrible, dark things that happened to her in the books. Have you read about those? What, do you think that they're going to actually go there in the TV show? We are. We're planning on it. Uh, yeah, I had that talk uh, last week. So we are. We're going to. We're going to. We're going. We're going for it. What? We're going for it. Wow. I mean, how do you even do that on television? It's just. It's. It's like horror movie stuff. Yeah. It's. It's crazy. Um, but I guess that's the. That's one of the, the things that I can relate with Julia with is the darkness. As you know, it's, it's dark, it's crazy, it's intense, and that's, that's kind of where her and I fall. Um, it's where we coincide. And so, I mean, one of the big things that Quentin has is learning to do the hand gestures and everything with the magic. Have you, have you, been, can, have you developed, like, magical hand gestures? Can you show us your... I don't want to show you anything right now because I don't want to spoil, but there, but we, we have adapted, uh, um, we've kind of created our own version of that, um, and, and it is very specific, and it is, uh, I think, really kind of cool. I think people will be into it. We're hope, hoping to create a language yeah. with it, you know, in the way that Harry Potter, uh, you know when he says Lumos, a light is going to happen. So we're ho hoping to create a language with, uh, with our magic making, with our spell making. So tell me a little bit about your guys' uh, characters in The Magicians, a little bit about their arc and maybe like their challenges that they're going to see in season one. Sure. Um, well, I play Penny, and um, I describe Penny this way. I say Penny's uh, Basquiat on the outside, Wolverine on the inside. He's a, bit of a, he's a bit of a lone wolf character. He definitely comes from... I mean, the beautiful thing about The Magicians is that everyone comes from pain. Like, you know, magic comes from pain, and so the six people that you have... Um, they've come from not the best experiences with childhood and so you know Penny comes in from that standpoint he was you know living out on the streets by himself and um, you know it's really fun to watch him integrate with a, a community and how, how that how, how that ruffles his feathers how he gets into fights unnecessarily but it's it's really fun yeah and how about your character um, I play Alice Quinn and uh, how would you describe Alice I mean she's a very shy and introverted person but um she's the most think has the strongest magic out yeah. of everybody. She's the most powerful magician. Like, um, kind of can, like, cast different spells than everybody? Uh, she's just better at it than everyone else. She comes from a magical family. She was brought up in magic, so it comes really naturally to her. But she's, she's also probably the most intellligent Definitely character. the most intelligent. Maybe like a Hermione of the group? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. With, with a little bit darker. I think yeah, every... Any, than Hermione from Harry Potter. Right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think that the beautiful thing with that Harry Potter reference is just that it's it's... And Lev talks about this a lot. Lev, Harry Potter, what would happen after they left high school? Yeah. You know? And, you know, it's dealing with, I think, a little bit more realistic, real-life problems that people have in growing up and trying to figure out who you are and thinking magic might solve that, but it really won't. Know, yeah. yeah. Well, it's really curious, you know, the books are kind of pretty colorful, right? Lots of, like, sex and violence, especially compared to, I heard you guys talking about yeah, Harry Potter is. over... <laughs> Surprise! Why do you think we wanted to do the show? Yeah. <laughs> well, like, so how, how, how are you guys going to be able to get that on TV, do you think, or what challenges might that present? Uh, blackmail. 
We're going to use blackmail against the network. Yeah. And it's, so far, it's going well. Yeah, there you go. I didn't yeah. realize I was going to be your straight man for all these interviews. <laughs> um, Sci-Fi has been tremendously yeah. supportive, actually. And cool. they have, they when they uh, when they bought this, they said, we don't want you to take the edge off of it. Nice. We want to support you mm -hmm. in making the edgy, mm -hmm. you know, rated PG-13, rated R version of the show. Yeah. 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 No, they've, they've been amazing. I mean, we, we actually get to use the F word. I heard that there was um, another attempt at making a magician show a few years ago. What made um, this iteration different, and how did you guys get the green light when maybe the past uh, show didn't get the we green never, light? We never read the past script, did we? No, no. we, we no. never. We are working with um, our partner, Michael London and Janice mm -hmm. Williams. They were involved in the previous iteration, so we took their word for it that we were going down a different path. Yeah. And I think the most respectful way to develop mm -hmm. something is just to kind of go your own way. Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. So um, I hear that there's, you know, a kind of a, a fantasy land that the characters are trying to get to. Is that something we can see in season one or maybe season two? <laughs> you see, so, so there's a magical land called Fillory. Oh, sure. Damn. Sorry, I'm spoiling a lot yeah. of shit today. <laughs> um, and uh, it's, a, it's a series of books beloved by our main character, Quentin Coldwater. They, they somewhat resemble a, a sort of Narnia world. And, and as soon as the pilot, as early as the pilot, he's mm. dreaming mm. of being able to go to a place like that. At the same time, he's discovering that magic is real. So he starts to realize if a place like that could exist, it wouldn't be like the children's stories. It would be something a lot darker yes. and more fucked up. <laughs> 